Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use points or do math within Active Campaign. Now, points are a way to gauge how engaged your subscriber is. So basically, you're gonna give people points based on how they interact with your emails, with your website, with your products, your services, etc. So for example, you might give somebody points, like 5, 10, 15, 20 points, when they buy a product or a service from you. Uh, depending how much that product or service costs, you might give them more points or less points or whatever it might be. You might also give people points when they request lead magnets from you. You know, basically every time they enter contact information into a form on your website, maybe you give them a point or two uh, for that type of action. You also might wanna give people points for when they click on links and emails. That might be worth giving people points. Maybe maybe only 0 0.3 points or you know less than a point, uh, but you still want them to get some credit for being engaged with the content you're sending out. You also might give people points for opening emails and that might be only 0.1 point. So one tenth of a point if they're opening an email. You might also do it based off of page views, like if they go to your sales page, they get half a point. Or if they view a certain blog post, they get 0.2 points or something like that. You know, a low low amount of points, but if they do enough of these activities, you know, they add up and they show you how engaged that subscriber is. You could also subtract points. So let's say that somebody has become inactive and they have not opened an email or clicked anything in 30 days. Well, my, maybe you subtract five points from them. Maybe at the 60 day mark, you subtract 10 points from them and so on. So you can add and subtract points from people uh, for doing different activities. And the point of this is to segment your audience to you know highly engaged subscribers to not engaged subscribers. And then you can trigger emails based on those points. So that's kind of the idea behind points. Now we're gonna go to Active Campaign and get some of this point stuff set up. So here I am in Active Campaign, and the first thing we need to do is add a custom field. So we're gonna to go to lists, and we're gonna to go to manage fields, and we wanna to go to add a field, and I'm just gonna call it points. Nice and gen general, generic, group, and we'll leave it general details, input type, I'm gonna leave it as a text input. That's perfectly fine. We'll hit add. So just like that, we have a points field. Now we have to give people points for doing certain activities. So to do that, typically you go through like an automation. So let's just say I'm, I'm gonna create an automation that adds points when somebody opens an email. So I'll go ahead and start from scratch. We'll go ahead and name this e automation, add point one point, or maybe we'll start it with points, add point one for open. All right, cool. Add start trigger. So this is triggered when somebody opens or reads an email. Okay. When a contact opens a campaign, when a contact opens a personal email, we want campaign, any email, any list runs. We'll do it multiple times. Add start. So anytime they open an email, they're going to get point one point. All right. Then we want to come down to contacts, no conditions of workflow, and then perform math. So click into that. Want to pick a field. And we'll go with contact fields, scroll on down to points, and we can add, subtract, multiply, divide. We want to go ahead and add point one. Save. So now when somebody reads an email, they're going to get point one point added to their profile. Make sure you turn that active, and then we can come back out to automations and set up automations for other activities. So if they Let's do click a link in an email. So if they click a link in an email, continue. Any email, any list, any link, we'll run it multiple times. Add start. And we'll go to conditions and workflow, perform math, pick a field. We'll go points, point. I don't know why that search didn't work, but there we go. Points, add point three, save. So points. Add point three, four, click. Save, active, and so on. So that's how you can go ahead and add points, you know, on a, a click or an open. Uh, if you have automations for purchases, like here we go, here's a purchase automation that I have already created. So I can just come in here and edit it instead of creating a brand new automation each time. So on a new purchase, we'll do, you know, perform math, pick a field, go on down to points. Whoops, try that again. Points, add, 
and we'll say five points for buying whatever. And of course, you could have different automations for different product services and have different points assigned and so on. But we're just gonna be real general, five points if they buy something from us. So that's how you can go ahead and add the points. And then you can come into, let's see, let's go create a new automation that's triggered when somebody reaches a certain number of points. So create an automation, start from scratch, continue. And we will do when a custom field, so field changes right here, continue. When field, contact fields, points, changes to 10, run the first time. And then the contact is added or updated, that works. And add, and we'll send them an email. Most valuable member. And you go through the whole email process. Just, you are so valuable. Here's a coupon. Or whatever you might want to do when somebody reaches at the 10 point mark or so on. So next, next, etc. The point is I just wanted to show you how you could go ahead and trigger an automation when somebody gets a certain amount of points. So when they get 10 points, they get this email. So that could you know, trigger that. And then we could also segment people. So if we come over to our list and go into segments and new segment, more than 10 points. If I get spell, you get the idea. So we want to go with point, points is greater than 9.9, .9, or maybe we'll go greater than or equal to 10. How about that? All right, so if points are greater than or equal to 10, uh, they're gonna be added to this segment. So you can save, view contacts, and there's probably no one in here right now because I just started setting this point stuff up in this account. So that's how you go ahead and you can use the math feature within Active Campaign to essentially create a points system where you can go ahead and basically tell how engaged your subscribers are uh, based off of their activity. So purchases, when they request lead magnets, when they click links, when they open emails, when they view pages, or you can subtract points. Like if they're inactive or they do something bad or naughty, you can go ahead and subtract points from them. And this just gives you another way to segment your subscribers based off of how engaged they are with the content that you're sending out.